The Russian exclave of Kaliningrad, which shares a border with Poland and Lithuania and looks out across the Baltic Sea, has a complex history. Once the German territory of Königsberg, the city became Kaliningrad when it passed into the hands of the Soviet Union after the Second World War. The result is a heady mix of architectural styles. To help me navigate the town, my guides Igor and Nastia, local musicians, will guide me around the city, past Prussian villas and Soviet Khrushchevki, and help me understand how Kaliningrad's architectural heritage has shaped Russia's westernmost territory. Kaliningrad used to be a German city, and uh, you can find uh, some German buildings uh, which which we have now, um, well, all over the city. And this is uh, one example. So now it is a music school for children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can still see the sign at the top, the Schule. Yeah, you can see how uh, old German architecture coexists with the Soviet ones. And uh, it's amazing and a unique feeling because uh, I guess you can't uh, find the same place uh, in Russia or in uh, maybe even in Europe where you have uh, this special atmosphere. As far as I know, this is the oldest stadium in Russia. The oldest stadium? Yeah. and. Uh, it was built, uh, Germans built it. So this predates the war then, when this city was actually German yeah, territory? Yeah, I guess so. And uh, it's quite sad um, to be here uh, when you know that uh, maybe not a single match is going to be held here anymore. Do you recognize these buildings? No, they look quite nice there. Uh, yeah, but uh, if it's not your uh, first visit in Russia, you might have heard about Khrushchevki. Yeah, of course, the five-story Khrushchev era house. Yeah, and uh, this may sound surprising, but these are Khrushchevki, actually. You are joking. <laughs> no. They look a lot nicer than the ones that you find on the mainland. <laughs> They've been renovated before the Football World Cup. Where are we going after lunch? Um, I guess it's a good time for us to go and check out the former German stock exchange building. Oh, that's the house of culture that Gosha Rubczynski shot yeah. his fashion show. Yeah, exactly. And now it's going to be renovated and it is uh, maybe our last chance to check it out before it changed. I don't think I've ever seen such a glamorous and decadent house of culture before. <laughs> yeah, but um, this used to be a German stock exchange building. And um, this building actually suffered a lot during Second World War. Wow, so this is a pre-war building then? <laughs> yes, this is a pre-war building. And uh, uh, as we can see, it was built uh, uh, in the style of uh, Italian classicism. about to enter this bar, which is quite unusual, I should say. Its owner is a big fan of table tennis, and he decided to do it both at the same time. So now we have a, a bar and a table tennis place. western part of Russia. It's quite close from Kaliningrad. It took us only one hour to get here. I'm surprised there aren't more people here, given how short a ride it is away from Kaliningrad. Well, yeah. I guess that's just not the most popular tourist place here. Mm. So as you see, uh, there is an uh, abandoned uh, German airport here, which remains unused for 
past, I don't know, 60 or 70 years. Mm. Well, and this is the landing strip, presumably? Yeah, it is. And is that the mainland over there? Is that Kaliningrad? I guess so, but I'm not quite sure. This is a Baltic Sea. Ahead, Sweden, yes. and the left we have uh, Poland. There we can find uh, amber. It's uh, local uh, gold. Yeah. <laughs> really notice how the urban environment changes the atmosphere. I don't think I've experienced it quite so acutely as I have here in Kaliningrad, that the, the legacy of the architectural legacy of it being a German territory compared to its, it being a Soviet territory is just radically different. You really feel that it doesn't feel 100% like a Russian city. When you walk these uh, old streets full of uh, green trees and old German houses which were built more than 100 years ago, it definitely inspires you in a special way. Not in, not in that way that Moscow can inspire you. I love Moscow and I was born there, but well, it's just nice to be here for a while and uh, it's just different. Walking around Kaliningrad with Igor and Nastya, the feeling is like nowhere else in Russia, with the close proximity of German and Soviet architecture inevitably giving the city a unique atmosphere. You get the sense here that young locals embrace the urban heritage of the city's German past and use it as the backdrop to a lively creative scene that's making Kaliningrad, with its musical prowess and nature-filled surroundings, a city on the rise.